The race this afternoon, number one is Village Vic for Richard Johnson, two Art Marest, Nick Schofield, three Tango de Jouy for Charlie Deutsch claiming three and four Cold March, Liam Treadwell, five Diamond King, winner of last year's Coral Cup, Davy Russell, so the Irish have a leading chance there, number six is Wardeur. The amount of Mikey Leg claiming five, seven Baron Alco, Jamie Moore, eight row to respect, Brian Cooper, nine Bouveret, Sam Twiston Davis and ten Kings Odyssey, Adam Wedge, Sam Twiston Davis, a jockey change from your papers, eleven Cocktails at Dawn, Nico de Boinville, twelve Germany calling, Keith in Woods, thirteen Star Architect, that's this year's pipe runner, Tom Scudamore, fourteen Henryville, Noel Feely and fifteen Bally Can, Daryl Jacobs, sixteen Sizing Cadelco for Tom O'Brien, seventeen Pinky Brown, Adrian Heskin, eighteen and ace David Bass, this is the other jockey change. 19 Rock Gone, Josh Moore. 20 Champagne at Tara, Aidan Coleman. 21 Mad Jack Mitten, Richie McClernand. 22 altogether, Brendan Powell. 23 Katachenko, Will Kennedy. And 24 Thomas Crapper, Charlie Post. So once again, we start in the middle as we did for the Ryanair. Two miles, five furlongs in front of the field. Three up the middle, four up the straight. Ten and the final circuit. 17 in all. This has been the bookmaker's saviour on this. Pick at the paddocks, they look very well. The champion trainer. The ones we've had, we've had Super Sunday, we've had Nichols Canyon. Who wins, Brian? It's not original, but I do like Diamond King from an Irish perspective. But if you ask me what I've backed, I've backed Star Architect. David Pipe has won this three times with horses like Ballinagar, Salu, Flo and Great Endeavour. This is a plot, a son of Sea the Stars. I think he's at the right end of the handicap. Star Architect is my money's on Star Architect. And good luck to you. I was doing research on the race last night. Could only find one AP McCoy winner in the race. Ooh, what was that, what Magidou? It's the correct answer. <laughs> OK, yeah. good. <laughs> but it's thrown, up some, I <laughs> it's thrown <laughs> up some good horses. Red Rum was fourth in this in 1971. Empire of Dirt won it last year. David Pipes won it three times. Martin Pipe won it four times. And you can see a delay. Not ideal here, AP, because a few of them getting on their toes. It's not It's not ideal. Um, I'd like to think that I could pick out the winner, but I'd like to be better off asking that statue of me down there. As you can see, <laughs> the flag is up. Our commentator, Richard Hoyles. They're coming in a bit urgent here as well. He's happy, lets them go, two miles five, Henryville settle at the rear of the field, jostling towards the outside between a couple of the rivals as they head on towards the first. And amongst those prominent Kings Odyssey and Village Vic, Baron Alco is also front rank. Mistake by Road to Respect towards the outside. It was one of those that had the early coming together with Katachenko and also uh, an ace towards the rear of the field early on as Baron Alco and Village Vic take Mad Jack Mitten pecked on landing but gets to the other side safely. There was another mistake by an ace whose rider briefly lost an iron, which he has regained. Pinky Brown is the overall back marker. And now Cold March up on the outside with Katachenko. Village Vic got into the bottom of it. He pecked on landing. They're going a good gallop here. They're paying scant respect to the fences early on, but they're all still standing. And it's Cold March who moves through to lead. And Katachenko racing in second place on the Outside is Baron Alco as they prepare to take the turn. Village Vic and Germany Calling are racing in a handy position with Sizing Cadelco racing in sick. They had a mad Jack Mitten as they continue to take the turn. All together on the outside. Then we have in midfield the likes of King's Odyssey. Diamond King at this stage is held up towards the rear. They're stringing out. Midfield for Tango de Jouy with Art Maresk and also in uh, mid division early on is Bouvray as they reach the first of the quartet of fences up the home straight. Back markers over it, Bois Deux, Starkitect well back, and Ace's jumping's rather gone to pot, and Henryville is keen, held up towards the rear. So Cold March leads Baron Alco towards the next obstacle. Once again, they are all over, so still fully intact, 15 lengths first to last, as Cold March, setting a brisk gallop, heads across the intersection towards the sixth. Baron Alco on the outside of Katachenko, Germany calling in the stripes, then towards the inside, Village Vic. All together in the pink jacket on the right side of Sizing Cadelco and King's Odyssey as they rise at the next obstacle. Mad Jack Mitten took it in midfield and nearly down Diamond King. Right at the back of the field was on his nose. Davy Russell pulls that noseband off the floor. He's one from the back, but that was a serious error. He teetered with gravity. And he's a little bit cautious over that as well. Just one from the back. Out in front, Cold March leads the turn away from the stats. From in second place, Katachenko on the inside of Baron Alco. Germany calling in fourth place altogether, fifth from Village Vic, sizing Cadelco on the outside of King's Odyssey. Mad Jack Mitten racing on the outer of Bouvray, who's up the inside with Art Maresk and then Road to Respect. Thomas Crapper racing on the outside of Bally Can. Champagne at Tara the Grey, just ahead of Star Architect Henryville, and then Rock Gone. Unace Diamond King right at the back of the field at this stage. Cocktails at Dawn is wider out as they reach the First of the fences away from the stands, and again, they're all over safely, although pushed along was Katachenko just behind the leaders after pecking. 
So racing towards the water jump, Baron Alco on the outside of Cold March as they come in to take it. Baron Alco just picking up in front. The whole field are over. Still, Diamond King just has one behind. Two ditches in the next three fences coming up. Baron Alco leading. Road to Respect on the outside has moved forward. Cold March, Germany calling takes a bad fall in uh, midfield. Germany calling is out of the contest. Diamond King was badly hampered at the back of the field as well. And Diamond King may have lost all chance there. I'm not sure whether he's actually still continuing. And Ace makes a mistake. Champagne at Tara as well as they turn up towards the uh, open ditch. And I'm pretty sure Diamond King pulled up after that incident. Baron Alco out in front from Village Vic. Then all together, Mad Jack Mitten Road to Respect. And all together unseats the rider when in third place. So jumping coming under pressure now with five to take. Baron Alco from Village Vic. In third place is Katachenko. Road to Respect on the outside. Good progress by Thomas Crapper on the outside in the maroon colours. Then behind these, Mad Jack Mitten. Also Bouvray on the inside with Bois Deux. Balican is trying to get in. In the two-tone green colours as they spin the bend. Sizing Cadelco under pressure. Art Marest making some progress. Starkitect is creeping into it as well with four to take. Baron Alco and Road to Respect to the first two to rise. Principles are all over it. Colt March was pulled up towards the rear of the field when beaten. And Katachenko's rapidly losing the spot. Running down towards the third last in the brown advisory. Baron Alco out in front. Road to Respect on the outside for Brian Cooper, Thomas Crapper in the noseband, then Village Vic, Mad Jack Mitten, Bouvray, Voideur is next, Henryville is trying to creep into it, behind these Ballycan, Artmoresk is now under pressure and this little bunch are away and it also includes Starkitect in the quarter colours of blue and yellow, Baron Alco on the inside of Road to Respect for Brian Cooper as they spin the turn towards the second last, they've got a break, over, Bouvray coming out of the pack with Mad Jack Mitten to chase Thomas Crapper, still Starkitect improves towards the outside, Outside with Ballycan, this is two from the finish, and Road to Respect is over. Three lengths clear to Baron Alco, they've got a break. Mad Jack Mitten was the faller when beaten and hampered Starkitect, but down towards the last, it's Road to Respect, who overcame an early error himself, who's clear at the last from Baron Alco in second place as they set off up the running. Bouvray is in third, then Thomas Crapper, Ballycan, and Art Mares. But the Irish dream continues. It's going to be five out of five as Road to Respect kept up to his work, beats Baron Alco. At the line, Road to Respect won it well. Second for Baron Alco, third Bouvray, Thomas Crapper, Starkitek, Bally Can. Rock Gone comes next from Art Marest, Henryville, then Katachenko, Village Vic got round an ace, Wad, uh, King's Odyssey. Well, luck may have run out for Diamond King. He made a mistake. He nearly got brought down in an instant down the back. That only left one other Irish runner, and it was Road to Respect. A 14 to 1 chance for Noel Mead and Brian Cooper. St. Patrick's Thursday, or St. Patrick's Day, really, this afternoon has come a day early.